Today, I'm going to show you how to get cut lines and bleed lines to print inside of Adobe InDesign. All right, I'm gonna show you two different ways to, well, three, four, just stick with me on how to create cut lines in your file. So first of all, if you're using Adobe InDesign at home and you just want to put cut lines on there, you're just gonna to go to File, print inside of Adobe InDesign, go to marks and bleed and make sure there's a check mark in front of crop marks. So you'll notice that when I uncheck this, the preview window has no crop marks, but when I hit it again, you can see tiny little crop marks in there. Now, this is assuming you're just printing this out for yourself to have cut lines, but if you're someone who sells printables, you probably want to assume one, two things. One, if people have A5 size paper, they don't even need cut lines, but most people have eight and a half by 11, so they will need cut lines. So here's what I like to do. I also like to provide kind of a full bleed almost. So what I've done is this background image and not all things need a bleed. I've just simply pulled this out. So what I did, is that same file, I went to File, Document Setup, and over here where it says Bleed, I made a 1 8 inch bleed. That's the 0.125. And so now I know where those lines are, and I simply took that bottom layer over here, and see how I made it smaller or bigger? I just pulled it out to those bleed lines over here. So now, what does that look like? So now when I go over here and I go to File, Print, I can go to Marks and Bleeds, and I can check off Crop Marks and Bleed Marks. Now, what that actually look like, looks like is that you're gonna get two lines. I know there's no preview for you, but I'm gonna show you what this looks like. So we're gonna send this to, oh wait, sorry, you can see it here. So, well, I guess you can't really see it there, but we're gonna send this to a postscript file. Um, and again, I like that heavier weight of the line. And I'm just gonna save this as a postscript file. So I'm gonna say cut and bleed lines as PS file. Whoops. Now, Postscript files can't be opened on anything except Adobe Illustrator. You would never wanna give somebody a PS file. So instead, you're gonna take that file and you're gonna open it up inside of Photoshop. I'm always assuming you have Adobe Creative Cloud. That's why I say just get the whole suite It has a lot of different tools in there. Now, inside of here, we can see those bleed lines over here and we can see those cut lines. So those are the smaller ones. So in theory, when I cut on this page over here, so let's say I line up an imaginary line right here. These are those cut lines right there. And then over here, this is that bleed line out there. So you don't need a full bleed print printer. This is an ACE five size page on an eight and a half by 11. So if you're wondering what that page size looks like, let me show you. So over here, I have another video on different page sizes and how that looks. Um, and so you're going to make sure that it all lines up. And then inside of Photoshop, you're just going to go to file and you're gonna to go to automate PDF presentation. And then you're gonna say add open files and you're just gonna go ahead and save this and it's going to save this as your PDF file, which I've actually already done. Um, so I will show you that now. So when I go into Adobe Acrobat, I can go ahead and open that file. And then when I print it out, they're going to be able to see those lines. So if they have a guillotine or a little slicer, they can see those different slice lines. Now. Let's say that you want to make sure that you print this on an A5. So what I usually do is I take one file. So this file, if you looked at the file size, if I go to document uh, setup, I can see that this is an A5 page size. So it's 5.8 by 8.2 uh, inches. So what I do is I will copy and paste this whole thing and I'll paste it onto a new document that's eight and a half by 11. So over here, if I go to document setup, you can see that this page is a standard eight and a half by 11, which is what I'm assuming all of my planner printable people have. But again, I would still provide the regular A5 file that you see over here for those that are printing on, like I said, um, that A5 paper that they're buying from Amazon or whatever, because they're feeding that directly into the printer. But for everybody else, we're gonna assume they have eight and a half by 11. So we're gonna add cut lines over here. So what you have is, if I show you this, so I have artificially drawn in the cut lines to this file. And I took the one without the bleed, so it doesn't go out extra. You could add the bleed if you want, but to make it simpler, I just used one that was exactly A5. So what I did is I simply, and let me just delete these for you. 
is I made a square. So I went over here and I went to rectangle tool. And if you don't see rectangle, the, the ellipse or the polygon might be selected. Make sure rectangle is chosen. And then I, whoops, I go over here and I'd like to make it hot pink just to match the rest of the colors inside of here. And maybe I'm going to make it a little thicker, like maybe a three. And I'm just going to eyeball it. Now I'm going to eyeball it by starting that rectangle outside of that paper because I don't want people to see a rectangle because they might get confused. I just only want them to see the cut lines. So I'm gonna drag and drop and you'll see the guides kind of help me and it all turns green when I line up exactly at that corner. So that's exactly what I want to have happen. So all I have to do now is take this, copy it and paste it. And I'm simply going to drag and drop and move it over here to the right till it lines up perfectly. And then I'm gonna take both of these and I'm gonna copy these and I'm gonna put these down here at the bottom. So I'm going to drag these down until they line up perfectly right there at the corners. And now, there we go, I have my perfect page, whoops, the smaller so you can see it, of my A5 paper inside an eight and a half by 11 with my cut lines set for me. All right, I hope that was helpful. And if you would like my guide on how to resize pages in Adobe InDesign, check the link below and I will talk to you later. Bye.